guys, so I have a tutorial for you guys on Griffith from Berserk. So if you guys have ever read Berserk, it is just, oh my god, it is one of like the most beautifully drawn mangas I have ever seen in my whole life. And this character is pretty much as beautiful as he is evil. Um, he is just a terrible person, so <laughs> I really wanted to recreate his look. So if you guys want to see how I got this and how I like body painted this, please keep watching. Okay, so I took um, the Huda Beauty palette, the rose gold palette, and I took Bay and put that on my lid, and then I took Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek and I put that back and forth in my crease. Once I did that, I took Dark as My Soul from the Give Me Glow Cosmetics staple palette, and I started to recreate the sort of very sharp crease shape that Griffith has to give it a sort of anime look. So I just did a very defined line, and then I brought it down the inner corner of my eye. When then I took a uh, small detail brush and went back and forth to kind of buff it out. Once I did that, I took the Make Forever Ink Liner and I did a very like kind of subtle cat eye. The lashes I'm wearing are the Black Magic Lashes uh, Man Eager Lashes and they're kind of like a subtle lash. I thought they'd go well with this look. And then I took the NYX SFX Cream Paint in white and I filled in my brows with it and it worked like so freaking well, just saying. Um, and I filled them in how I normally would. I just kind of did like a sort of straight brow. Then I went into the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette and I took the shade Midnight and I put that toward the back end of my eyebrow just because I wanted that sort of faded effect so they didn't look so kind of weird and like stark white. For my brow bone highlight, I'm taking NYX's Whipped Cream and just putting that back and forth in my brow bone. And then I'm taking the MAC Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. I'm in the shade, I think, NC15, I think. Whatever the lightest, like, warmest shade is. Um, and I'm just putting that all over my face and blending it out. And then I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm putting that underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my chin, uh, all over the place to highlight. To highlight further, because I'm feeling kind of extra, I'm taking the Kat Von D white concealer and I'm putting that underneath my eyes and on the bridge of my nose. Now we are going to contour. So I am taking this NYX, um, it's like a concealer palette in light, and I'm taking the contour shade and I am contouring my nose. And I'm really like kind of like I'm trying to make it like real slim looking, you know, because he's, 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 he's an anime character, so it's a cute little tiny nose. And I'm taking some and I'm putting it down my cheekbones and flicking it up. Then I am taking a small stipple brush and I'm using upward circular motions on my cheekbones to contour. Once I do that, I'm going to throw a little bit underneath my nose. And then I'm taking this like eyeshadow brush and I'm just dragging the contour that I drew on the sides of my nose downward um, and I'm just blending it and also on the nostrils and a little bit on the tip of the nose and I'm taking my little tiny beauty blender and I'm just tapping that out so it's all nice and blended. This is the NYX Hydro Touch Powder and I am tapping that all over my face to set everything because I have an oily ass face um, and Griffith is perfection so he doesn't I'm assuming. Um, but then I'm taking the Kat Von D, what is this, it's their translucent powder and I am tapping that underneath my eyes, down my nose, on my chin, forehead, all over the place um, because again, I want like perfect, beautiful Griffith skin. Okay, so I decided not to use blush because I didn't see any on Griffith. I decided to bronze up my face with the Benefit Cool Light and um, I just wanted to like add a little bit more dimension to my face because um, Griffith just looks like a woman. He's not a woman. He's just a very pretty looking man. So I wanted to add a little bit more dimension to my face, especially on my jawline because like hi, I have a dub chin. And um, yeah, so I'm basically putting that uh, bronzer wherever I put the cream contour. And I am really kind of trying to get that nice nipped anime, you know, nose. So I am just dragging some of that bronzer down the sides of my nose, underneath my nose, on my nostrils, also underneath my lips because I wanted them to look extra nice and pouty. And then I'm taking the NARS Blush and Contour Duo on Olympia and I'm just contouring. Um, and I'm just putting it on all the places that I put all of that other bronzer and contour. Okay, so now for the lower lash line, I'm taking Sandalwood from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette and I am just kind of running that back and forth underneath my eyes and smoking it out a little bit. And then I am taking 
this black shade and I am lining my lower lash line. I wanted like a subtle, you know, inner corner highlight, so I took uh, Moon Dust from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette and put that in my inner corner, and then I took some mascara and I put that on my lashes. This is the NYX White Liner, and I put that on my waterline, because you know anime, big eyes, blah blah blah. Um, I just wanted my eyes to look a little bit bigger. So since Griffith is like an otherworldly looking gentleman, I thought he would have an otherworldly looking highlight, so I took the... Uh, Makeup Geek Prism Blue Shadow, and I put that on my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow. Once I got done that, I started to do the armor. So the armor, um, I started with the NYX white liner, and I just started to sketch everything out. So I just started with his like ruffly shirt that's on his neck, and then I sketched out his cape, which is on his shoulders. Um, and then I started to sketch out the armor part. So I'm dumb and uh, I completely sketched out the armor in like full detail, which is completely unnecessary because you're going to go on top of flat color and you don't like retain any of those, you know, details. Um, so all you really need to sketch out is the shirt, the cape, um, the little like, what are they called? What are they called? Like the, the thing on his, you know, the wing on his cape and then the middle like brooch thing. Um, so yeah. Completely unnecessary to fill in all that detail. Um, then I took the white Mayron paint and I started to sketch in the shirt. It dripped a little bit and I just wiped it off. Um, I filled that in first and then I went in with the gray uh, Mayron paint to fill in the armor. So I am just really building that gray up. It took me like a hot second. It was hella boring. I'm just saying, just filled in flat color. Um, but yeah, so I'm just filling in that gray. Every once in a while I grab my beauty blender to spread out the paint because it just kind of spread it out pretty quick. But once I got done layering that gray on, I took the NYX SFX cream paint in white and I tapped it on top of the, um, the Mayron gray water activated paint because that white NYX SFX cream paint just really uh, thickens up the color a lot. So after all that, I filled in my cake part with the white Mayron paint and then I also went on top with some white eyeshadow just to thicken up the paint a little bit and then I took Midnight from the Naturally Pretty palette from the Cosmetics and I started to sketch out the details of the armor. So I'm doing like, I don't know what that's called, it's like platelet or whatever. Um, and I did the middle part and I'm basically just looking at reference. I highly recommend just looking at tons of reference for his armor or whatever you are trying to do um, to get the sections you know, kind of symmetrical. Then I'm taking a fluffier brush and I'm starting to blend those lines in a little bit because I didn't want them quite so sharp. Um, and then I took some more white eyeshadow. White eye, I live for white eyeshadow, okay? Um, but I'm tapping that like on the armor to kind of give it a little subtle highlight um, and to build up a little bit more depth to it. Then I am taking a, what is this? This is the NYX palette. It's a full throttle palette and I don't what it is in but I will have it down below um, and I'm starting to build up those shadows on the armor and just kind of all the dimension that the armor has so armor has like so much dimension to it it has and just metal in general um, so I am just building up tons and tons of layers of gray shadow so we are just layering up more and more and more gray guys so I just took another gray eyeshadow this is from the Smashbox Smoky palette and I took the gray shadow from it and I just started to add more depth to it because metal is just it's just there's so much depth to it um, but after that I took a like sparkly silver shadow and I started to put that on all the sections of the armor because you know metal is shiny so I wanted to have a little bit of shine to my metal and then I took the Anastasia Beverly Hills Noir eyeshadow and I started to really define different sections of the armor so I'm lining them making them super defined going over every single area and it's just really starting to bring that armor outward now for the cape so I added the folds to the cape I'm just adding some lines with the Sephora modern watercolor palette I took the light 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 gray shade and I added some lines coming off of the brooches or whatever they are that are on the um, that are on the cape. I also went in and added a little bit of shadow where the like brooches hit the cape because there would be shadow there so sitting on top. And then I went into the shirt and started to add dimension to the like ruffles of the shirt. 
Now for some shiny lines. So I took the NYX Lip of the Day liner in Kinetic and I added some just shiny metallic gray lines to each section of the armor, kind of like lining them. Um, and then I took the Midnight shade from the Naturally Pretty palette and I started to line the, you know, folds, like where they're folding on the shoulders of the cape. And then I blended it in. Now for some ruffle detail. You guys like painting ruffles like so rewarding and just pleasant, I'm just saying. Um, but I took some of that like dark gray uh, eyeshadow and I just went into the ruffles and like as they fold in, so like where the hill dips in the ruffles, I added a shadow um, because that's where there would be a shadow. And then I took some of the Mehran Clown White and I added some real intense uh, highlights to the cape so where it would like come upward is where I added the white highlights to the cape part and then I also took some of that clown white and added it to the ruffles so where the ruffles like came outward um, so where like the hill of the line so it was like up down up down up down uh, where it goes up I added a highlight Does that make sense? I think that makes sense and then I went in with like a detail brush and I added a little bit more intense highlights with that clown white so on the cape like on the very middle once I got done that, I wanted to add some very intense highlights to the armor, so I'm taking that clown white and I'm going like up, I'm basically adding it to each section of the armor, so I'm doing that very, uh, those two middle sections, I'm bringing two strokes, two intense strokes up, and then like on the sides, and then on the little sections, also on the arm, I'm kind of lining it, and yeah, I just wanted some very intense highlights, like I got some very nice shiny armor on. Now for some more highlights, because that is what metal is. Metal is just like highlights and shadows. Um, I'm taking the NYX foundation mixer in white, and I am just doing some like quick little brush strokes next to the extreme highlights that I added. And then we're gonna add a little shadow, like the shirt is laying on my neck. So I took um, just one of like the mauvey shadows in the Naturally Pretty palette, and I just added a shadow uh, right above my shirt. And then I took a gray shadow, and I kind of lined certain sections. And then we started to fill in these little brooch things. Um, so I took yellow from the Mehran palette that I have and I filled in the little middle thing and then the little wings. After that, I started to add some more detail with a darker yellow paint from the Mehran palette. So I added a little dot. Um, on the wings when I started to individualize each one of the like feathers on the wings or whatever um, and then I went in with Lemon Drop from Make Geek and I started to add a little bit of dimension so Lemon Drop is a little bit lighter so I'm adding it as like a shine so right on like the top of the wing sections and then also on the middle of the brooch then I took Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek and I started to individualize the wings and I went around so I kind of like lined it and stuff so you can see what I'm doing. And then for the middle um, brooch thing I just drew like kind of like a line with like a U below it. Cause that looks like that's the design on Griffith's brooch thingy. Um, and then we went in and we add a little bit more detail like where the, the arm armor meets the chest armor. Um, and I took Vivid Halo. I'm really hungry. I want cookies. Just saying. I took Vivid Halo from the Viv Brights from NYX and I started to add a little bit of like a shiny kind of line thing to each one of the yellow brochy things. And I'm just like lining it and adding a shine. Alrighty, then I took a gold liner and I added some metallic gold to each one of those like little yellow section things and I took some black eyeshadow and I added like little black nails to the armor um, and then I took my NYX white liquid liner and I started to add extreme highlights so I added one on top of the ruffles and I feel like this is like really starts to bring the armor to life um, so I added one on the very top of the armor so like where the armor meets the shirt and then down the middle and I'm adding them to each section of the armor as well as the gold like brooch section so this really like starts to individualize each section of armor and the nails as well I just did a little line on the left side of each one of the nails and also a little white outline on the cape and on the very middle so that is just bringing a very intense highlight um, 
to the middle part of the paint. And that is pretty much the last step of the armor. And you guys, I am honestly rather happy with how it turned out, if I do say so myself. Um, then I am taking a very dark nude lip liquid lipstick and I am adding that to my lips but like not completely applying it. I'm kind of like spreading it out, you know, so I'm trying to get like a subtle wash of color with it. And then I am taking Corella from NARS, it's in that crayon, and I added that to the very middle of my lips. And then I took a concealer and I kind of faded that into the lipstick because I wanted it to be like, just a very like natural but dark kind of lip shade, if that makes any sense. Um, and that is the last thing that I did for this makeup look. So if you guys liked it, please let me know. If you guys enjoy Berserk, let me know. Oh, I also added wigs and contacts. These contacts are like perfect for this look. I'll have what they are down in the description box. But anyway, guys, like this video. If you like this video, subscribe. It makes me happy, and I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Bye!